What's going on? What's going on? Hey, it's your boy Skills. Hey. Alright, so I'm back for another episode. I think episode six or seven of Ask Skills. So I've been getting emails from y'all. So sorry for not um not responding. Like I said, we're not doing the segment. Brother been busy at work, like I said, the Chronicle. I mean they had it's just been, you know, I guess rough around the holidays, people take off, so and I'm on the copy desk at night, so and um, maybe you're asking, okay, so what's a copy? At, you know, I'm a copy, senior copy editor in the evenings. Um, what a copy editor does, they read the stories, make sure everything's grammatically correct, and then they stick a headline on it. So it sounds pretty easy. It's actually very difficult. Um, it's you have to have an excellent command of grammar. So, and I know you're like, well, dang, dude, you talk so street. Yes, however. Um, I have, like I said, I made excellent grades in English, and trust me, like I said, when I meet a dignitary, I met Bill Clinton before, um, Bill Richardson a couple times, um, also, celebrity, not celebrities, but just like, you know, the, the president of Bethesda, I got a chance to sit and chat with him, um, just the creator of Guitar Hero, different people, talked to Mel B before, so, Bob Hope. So the thing is, you know, you have to, you can't just, you know, just be, okay, what's up, what's up, what's up, but hey, you know, the thing is, I did grow up in, you know, predominantly black area, and speaking proper English, some people didn't understand, so I mean, you just, you know, when you're in Japan, you're not going to speak, you know, Mandarin, Chinese, or anything like that, so like, you know, whatever people you're dealing with, you need to speak you know, in that, if you can. So, all right. So, I just want to send a special shout out to Mr. Triple Horton. Today is his birthday. So, check this out. All right. I need all of y'all. All right. I need all y'all to help a brother out on this. Okay. So, check this out, Mr. Mr. Triple Horton. All right. It's your birthday. All right. So, I need all y'all to sing with me. All right. Okay. On the count of three. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Happy, happy birthday. We're so glad you came. Happy, happy birthday from the Maskills Gang. Hey, we're so excited. We hope that you are too. So happy, happy birthday from the Skills Crew. Hey! Happy birthday. Especially on Christmas Eve, which kind of is jacked up because you probably like would get more presents if your birthday wasn't so close to Christmas. So, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and shut up. Alright, so right now um, we got a couple questions. And these are going to be somewhat, somewhat long, so I'll go ahead and just, um, just focus on just two today. So, and like I said, just feel free, you know, it doesn't matter. Just email me your questions and I'll get to them whenever I can. All right, so, Miss Monica Valick had asked me about UDRAW. And what she said was, she had asked me a question, for instance, like, could a three or four year old play with it? Well... They have, the U-Draw is out on the PS3, 360, and also on the Wii. You saw the review on it. My little girl's four, she'll be five in January. The thing is, yes, you know, you have to work with the children. It would be, you know, it's really, really fun. Um, pretty much like an interactive or virtual coloring book. And kids would love it. I mean, they have the SpongeBob one. They have the Marvel Comics um, which is really really cool, and then they have like princess picture of the princess, pr Disney princesses, um, the Pictionary, different software <clears throat> for the device, which is really cool. Only bad thing is with the device, it only works with the UDraw software. So if the company making UDraw, if they go out of business, then you're stuck kind of like with these, you know virtual coloring books. I liken it to Leapfrog, how they always come out with these new innovative products. They just put all this stuff on blast, just throw it out there, and then they just kind of orphan it. So, you know, that's that's a tough call. I don't know if I'm, you're in a, your financial situation. Um, I can tell you, though, it is a really, really cool concept, really cool game, as long as they support it. It's, you know, has a very, very bright future. I think the future is much brighter on the Wii versus the 360 and the PS3. I just think it's a little bit ahead of its time right now on both of the console, major consoles because, you know, those 
catered for the most part to hardcore gamers. Even though Microsoft is trying to, you know, capture the we the we audience a little bit with soccer moms and you know just seniors and everything with a lot of their software, especially with the Connect. So hope that answers your question, Monica. All right, and this one comes from Roly Roly One Kenobi. 77 and he said hey he said hi just wondering if you go to church yes i do i'm an assistant pastor of the church and are against video is against violence why do you play first person shooter games and not saints row i saw in your video because it has horde mode and it's not as bad as going around in a going around in a gun oh and also Please, can I have a shout out because I actually do what you do on boxes. Okay, well, you got your shout out, player. All right, so he said, um, let's see here. Thanks, and I do not mean to be pushy in the start of the message. Sorry if I was. Nah, dude, you're not pushy. Trust me. I, I You know, that's actually very tame compared to some of the really interesting comments I get. So, all right, so you're asking, okay, like, for instance, yes, I played Saints Row. I had, you know, I did it for review. I think it's a really good concept. And, I mean, it is a lot of fun. However, I was just looking at people that have really strong religious convictions. And for that, I could not recommend anyone that, you know, has religious convictions to play the game. Just because it's very, very raunchy. Um, with first-person shooters, <clears throat> excuse me, yes, some of them, you're killing aliens, which... You know, they aren't. I mean, you know, they're, they're not people. The ones where you are killing people, I could see if it was something like a terrorism simulator. You know, like, for instance, with the No Russians, um, the No Russians mission in Modern Warfare 2. But most of the enemies that you're killing are enemies. You know, for instance, like the Nazis or the Imperial Army. <clears throat> the, in the Japanese of World War II, or you know, you think about like the Confederacy, and even like with Space Marines, I mean, they're orcs. I mean, you know what? Orcs need to die, or zombies kill those fools, okay? Yeah, one thing about zombie, okay? Zombies cannot swim. Plus, if you're gonna kill a zombie, don't go for a headshot, skip a headshot, go center mass, then go headshot. All right, but like I was saying. <clears throat> You're, you're killing enemies who normally, you know, if they surrender, that's one thing. But most of these games, the AI does not understand what surrender means. So they're coming at you full force. You know, what you're going to do? You know, they got to you know, you back up off me. So, yeah, in that sense, yes. But like with Saints Row, with, like I said, with the horde mode, I mean, you're swinging a dildo around. Come on now. You know, let's just do the math with that. Even with the the cursing and the, and the swear words in first-person shooters, that's one thing. But with a mode that's, you know, glorifying whores, you know, I mean, what else is there? So, that's what I'm saying, like, for instance, <clears throat> with some game, if I ever, you know, if I run across games that, I like that because, hey, I'm an assistant pastor, and I can't recommend a game to anyone of faith <clears throat> if, you know, they, they're they like, okay, well, Saints Row. Yeah, let me get it. And their kid's like 14, 15 years old. They play it. Whoa, wow, did you see that? She's swinging a purple what? Oh, man, she has, she has a prophylactic. No, you know, that's why. So, but I mean, like I said, with shooters... You know, I mean, it's it's Nazis. I mean, they're shooting at you. So, are you justified to shoot them back? Maybe you should ask yourself if you should be playing the game, you know, for entertainment. But, like I was saying, I mean, it's, you know, you do have enemies that are coming at you. And in Saints Row, you can pretty much kill anyone. And I know that, like, in most shooters, you can't just harm civilians. In Grand Theft Auto, you can. And even in L.A. Noir, I mean, you could not. Um, you would run over, like, an individual, and I guess they didn't really get hurt or anything. So, but, 
Yes, sir. So that's why I said what I did. So, okay. So anyway, it's your boy skills. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and and do. Uh, let me be clear on the recent, the last Guardian announcement by GameStop. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that, but I'm gonna tackle that and go ahead and give you my synopsis of that situation and. Like I said, thank y'all so much for your comments. Thank y'all. Spread the word about the channel, please. I appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> and like I said, just keep tuning in. Send in your questions. And look, on some of the videos, they get a little bit heated as far as the comments. So I make it so that I approve them. So don't worry about sending five, six comments. Because what's funny is I will approve all five or six of them. But <clears throat> don't worry about that. So all right. So anyway, <clears throat> Mr. Triple Horn, Mr. Triple Horton. Happy birthday to you, homie. All right, man. Okay, it's your boy Skills. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.